Welcome to this introduction of the DTMN Partners Toolkit. Its purpose, how it was developed, its structure and main tools. In this video, you will see who developed the DTMN Partners Toolkit, the purpose of the toolkit, content and use of the toolkit, type of tools in the toolkit, and the tools you can start from when navigating the DTM and Partners Toolkit. The approach and tools described here were not developed in isolation. They were developed based on best practices in the humanitarian sector and through consultations with DTM, global clusters, global areas of responsibilities, working groups and other partners. In addition, Approach and tools are adapted from the work done by the Working Group on Useful and Usable Data and Analysis, EDAUR, under the Ground Bargain Work Stream on Needs Assessments. The EDAUR Working Group is composed by colleagues of the organizations listed here. This work is the result of years of combined experience and months of targeted efforts. The DTM team is grateful to all those who contributed at HQ, in regional offices and in country offices. Purpose of the DTM and Partners Toolkit. The purpose is to help effective cooperation for useful and usable data between DTM and partners in the field. The tools help DTM and partners effectively cooperate to obtain useful and usable data from DTM. Tools are designed to accompany DTM and partners in their cooperation through a common approach. Most tools are of interest of both DTM and partners and can be used by both. These tools guide and help information management data experts, work together subject matter experts, cultural or context experts, and decision makers along the assessment process. The toolkit is online and accessible to all. There are tools to help identify data users and information needs, tools to guide on roles and DTM of DTM and partners in the analysis process, examples of questions and data plan developed with global clusters, working groups, and areas of responsibility. There are tools to facilitate safe data sharing, keep track of feedback and action taken, and to ensure reports and data are well understood by partners and data users. In addition, there are specific tools to help explain the approach, introduce DTM to partners, and solve practical challenges identified in the field. There are different entry points to use the DTM and Partners Toolkit. From the landing page, that includes the introduction to the toolkit, the explanation of what DTM is and who is a partner, you can access the DTM and Partners Cooperation Process page or the DTM for Specific Sectors and Themes page or the Training for Partners, DTM Coordinators and for Enumerators page or the Frequently Asked Questions page on DTM and Partners Cooperation. Finally, you can click on the DTM and Partners Library to access all tools organized in folders and subfolders. If you click on the cooperation process, you will access the explanation of the DTM and Partners cooperation steps. The process was developed for DTM and Partners cooperation specifically, but follows the best practices of most actors in the humanitarian sector and outcomes of the ground bargain work stream for needs assessments. Clicking on each step will lead to explanation of each step and tool to use during that step. Clicking on the video will open a narrated explanation of the process. Specific partners worked with DTM to agree on how DTM can collect data that are useful for partners analysis. Global clusters, AORs, areas of responsibility, working groups and other experts develop tools that guide DTM and partners in the field to collect and use information that are appropriate to the methods and sources used by DTM. 
clicking on each sectoral icon will open the sectoral page with guidance and tools for that sector. Specific partners also worked with DTM to develop trainings for DTM and partners colleagues in the field. On the right, you will find trainings for enumerators on specific issues like safely managing incident disclosures during data collection or child protection or counter trafficking or GBV. On the left, you will find the link to trainings for partners, protection colleagues and DTM coordinators in the field on issues like fundamentals of information management for non-technical colleagues, mainstreaming protection in information management data and analysis activities, or information management for protection, for GBV, for child protection, for disability inclusion, for trafficking in emergencies, and more. The page of DTM and partners frequently asked questions helps answering the most common questions about DTM and partners cooperation. You can click on the main topics, for example, what is DTM or where I can find DTM and data reports, or how can DTM and partners cooperate and DTM for specific sectors and themes. Each topic will have sub questions and answers as in the example on this slide. There are many tools in the toolkit. All tools are designed to respond to specific requests and to be useful for colleagues in the field, both for DTM and for partners. All tools are short and operational. There are checklists, templates, decision-making trees, PowerPoints to adapt and use, and guidance through visuals and bullet points. Let's now try to give an overview of the tools that you can find on the toolkit. Um, starting from the tools that explain what DTM is, what it does, what it cannot do. Uh, they include presentations in English, French and Spanish that can be adapted to the specific context, um, as well as presentations and introduction to specific topics for specific clusters. How to use DTM for health, GVV, protection, um, food security, shelter, CCCM and so on and so forth. Uh, there is also uh, a few examples of uh, two pager summaries that are very useful to start with and that explain what DTM is, uh, what it can and cannot do, and how to use DTM data. There is a specific section that guides on how to use DTM for different sectors, themes uh, like CCCM, cash, counter trafficking, disability inclusion, energy, child protection, mine action, shelter NFI, education, gender-based violence, health protection, wash, and more. In this section, there are very practical tools that guide different sectors, clusters, AORs, get the right data they need for their analysis and use them. The pocket guide on the approach, process, and roles summarizes in very short um, number of pages how DTM and partners can work together and how they can engage for useful and usable data. It's a pocket guide, it can be carried around and it's very easy to consult and very short. And for those people that prefer reading comics to guides, we also have DTM and partners cooperation in comics. This illustrates in English, French and Spanish a typical situation of an emergency where DTM cooperates with partners and how the two can work together for useful and usable data. It also highlights some of the challenges that are most commonly in, found in the field and how to overcome them. The Do No Harm checklist is a very useful tool that enables anybody who is uh, designing and organizing a data collection exercise to ensure that uh, the exercise does not do harm to the enumerators or to the informants or the respondents, to the communities that uh, are going to be assessed, to the organization itself and to anybody else. And it considers harm that could be done because of data collection, but also because of data storage or analysis or sharing. 
a template that is useful to identify the actual information needs of a data user and then look at the methods and sources that are appropriate to collect those data is the mapping. It's a template that provides some indication and that can be adapted by DTM and partners when they plan their data collection and they want to identify the real information needed and the methods that are to be used for those information. There are also examples of information needs that DTM multi-sector location assessment through key informants can help with. This is a list of information and decisions that this information supports, a strategic level, programmatic level, operational level. And these are all information that are appropriate to collect through key informant interviews used by DTM multi-sector location assessment. You can find on the toolkit also a short guide, a two-pager, that helps uh, with understanding what methods of data collection and what sources can be used for which type of information. And this is very useful to avoid making mistakes in trying to obtain information through the wrong method and the wrong source. It will help DTM and partners identify the right method, the right source, to get the information partners need. One of the great moments of cooperation between DTM and partners is through specific sectoral training for DTM coordinators and enumerators. Um, examples of this training developed by partners and DTM are available on the toolkit under the section trainings. And finally, the DTM and partners field companion, where you can find sectoral information needs and questions formatted as a data analysis plan for key informant interviews. DTM and global clusters, global AORs and global working groups have worked to develop a set of most commonly needed information, phrasing of the questions in English, option for answers, and also uh, other types of information that um, partners in DTM in the field will find useful. A reminder that all of this needs to be contextualized in the field, but it's a great starting point and it helps saving, save a lot of time and increase good cooperation between DTM and partners. If you are considering where to start with the DTM and Partners Toolkit, we suggest you start by reading the comics on DTM and Partners Cooperation for a practical illustration and examples and the short pocket guide for a structured overview of the cooperation. We reached the end of this introduction to the DTM and Partners Toolkit. Enjoy your exploration of the toolkit and contact us for feedback and questions or to ask us to help you develop new tools. Write to dtmsupport at iom.int.